Hello friends, my name is Bilal Khan and today I am going to be running the Kafka instance in the Docker container. So I will show you the whole process and uh, uh, first of all if you don't know about the Kafka, so uh, Kafka is a streaming uh, system uh, that will that is helpful in the messaging platforms like uh, a, it will store the data and it will uh, send the data in a short period of time. So it is uh, it can be possible with the help of database but the database can't handle multiple requests at the same time fastly but uh, the Kafka will handle them, handle them properly in which uh, let's say if there are multiple users and they are communicating with each other at the same time then uh, it will be really difficult for the database to handle all these requests at the same time so the Kafka will handle this uh, these requests properly all right so it will send them uh, it will store the messages and it will send them at the same time all right but in the fast way so I will do the same process here also. So what I will do first of all, I will create a file by the name of Docker Compose YAML, and inside this file I will write a script. And after that, um, there will be two terminals that will basically one will send the message and another one will uh, receive the message. All right. So this is how it will be done, and I will show you the whole process of it that how it is done. All right. So let's write uh, what you can say services. So I'm using uh, sorry version instead of writing services, I will write version. And I will write two. So version two is a Docker version. So after that, let's write the services. That the services will be uh, first of all the services that I'm going to run is Zookeeper. So it's a service that is helpful for the uh, managing the messages and all the, uh, all the connections and all these things of the Kafka. So this is the thing that I'm going to use. And after that, I will use another service that is the Kafka itself. All right. So uh, let's write the image. So the image is going to be uh, what you can say worst uh, master uh, worst master uh, this time it would be zookeeper and that would be latest and the next thing is the port so uh, through this port it can be easily uh, communicating like uh, 2181 uh, and 2181 all right so the local local host now ne the next image is the kafka image all right so let's write uh, the um, Im uh, image like uh, this time it would be worst master slash uh, what you can say kafka and that would be the latest image of it and after that let's write the ports so these ports are helpful for the what you can say 9092 for the local host communication like if you want to access them through local host and after that this is the expose that will be helpful to uh, expose them in the container inside the container right so this is the port that will be helpful for exposing them or accessing them inside the container so let's write suppose 9092 uh, 9093 all right so previous one was 9092 but this one is 9093 and now let's write the environment in which the Kafka uh, uh, Kafka functionalities will be performed. So I don't want to write these things. Instead, what I have done, I have already written this environment here. So let's copy this and I will show you the whole process of it just to make this uh, video short and I don't want to get into these details by just wasting your time writing on them. So for the first thing is that um, Kafka advertised listeners. So it will uh, listen it from the inside through this port and it will listen the from the outside through this port. All right. And basically the user will listen to these uh, ports from the inside and from the outside through multiple ports and the Kafka inter broker listener name. So this is the uh, listener name that is from the inside in which the broker or the middleman will uh, will be will be listening from the inside. All right. And the Kafka listener security protocol, this is a security protocol that will be helpful from the uh, in, uh, in order to access those messages. Like from the inside, we have given the plain text and from the outside, we have also given the plain text just for the example uh, purpose. In this video, uh, you can write it a uh, complex password also, but I have just given it plain text so that it can easily be accessible through the security protocol. And the Kafka listeners, uh, so it uh, the Kafka listeners will listen from the inside through this port and from the outside through this port and uh, the Kafka auto create topics enable it means that the topics or the chat room especially that uh, that will be basically communicating with each other this feature is enabled so that uh, one chat room is going to be uh, communicating with another chat room and the uh, messages will be stored and sent through uh, from one chat room to another chat room so this is equal to true 
and the kafka outside topic replic uh, replication factor is equal to 1 so it means that the message that will be sent there will be one copy of that message also present as a uh, backup all right so it means you can also give it one two three four five copies also for of the same message but for the testing purpose in this video i have just copied it one time all right so the replica of that message is created one time not multiple times uh, uh, Kafka Zookeeper connects, so it will be connected with the help of this port Zookeeper 2181. Alright, so now the next thing that I'm going to write is the volumes. So the volumes uh, are basically um, what you can say like this one. Uh, first of all, it will be uh, uh, where, sorry, like this, where uh, run uh, um, docker sock, and after that, uh, where or on docker sock so basically what it does the uh, volume are basically the uh, a middle a middle thing that will be communicating with the host machine and the container also so let's see if there is some file or the message that is present in between so that the host mess um, machine can also access those uh, message and the container can also access those message at the same time or so this will be uh, the volume that will be present in the middle or in a place that can then can be accessible accessible from both the host machine and from the container all right so this is the host machine path and this is the um, path that will be accessed by the container so let's write uh, or depends on so the depends on is the zookeeper so let's write like this so yeah the zookeeper is basically uh, the kafka will not run until the zookeeper is running because the zookeeper will manage all these things all right so the kafka is dependent on zookeeper so yeah this is how all the whole things that i have written it so let's save this and after that let's write a command first of all i will write docker pull uh, or what you can say worst uh, master worst mister uh, or what you can say zookeeper so yeah this will pull the zookeeper image from the uh, docker hub and uh, once i click on this you will see that it will take me some time in order to pull those images but i have already uh, uh, pulled that image as you can see here that the image is up to date but this is just uh, for the showing purpose that how you can pull the image like this zookeeper and similarly if you want to uh, the next command is going to be kafka so these are the two images that you need to pull in order to run the container so yeah these are the two images that i have already pulled and now the next thing that i'm going to run is to write a docker compose up d so this is the docker compose that will be running first of all in order to uh, uh, start the kafka zookeeper and uh, in order to start the kafka itself all right so if it is down and then you uh, then you won't be able to access it all right so now the next command is to run the container like docker run rm so it will remove the container uh, once this all process is done and after that interactive environment it will run it inside the container and after that uh, the next thing is going to be network host it means that uh, uh, in, uh, the networking will be performing the actions inside the host or right? it will not be performing outside because for the te uh, testing purpose for the simplicity purpose I'm just uh, doing it inside the host and now the next thing is going to be uh, worst uh, worst master I am not mispronouncing this name maybe so if it is wrong then please let me know uh, uh, what you can say Kafka Kafka and then the next thing uh what you can say opt opt kafka bin uh, and then the kafka now what you can say uh, kafka uh, console producer so basically this image or this file will be running inside the container and it will uh, it will show that the produce is located inside the kafka all right so this path or this image is going to be uh, executing inside the container and now the next path is going to be uh, the next thing is going to be or like broker list so it will show the uh, broker list or where the server uh, Kafka server is located. So it will show the list of them and uh, you can access those broker or those server with the help of this local host. And once this is done, after that, 
the next thing um, I'm going to write is to write the topic. So the topic is going to be test. All right, so the topic could be anything, but I have given it a test uh, because the chatty, uh, chat room uh, is called the test that will be help, uh, that will be helpful in order to communicate with two servers at the same time. All right, so this is the chat room. So let's uh, uh, see this whether it contains any kind of error or not. So as I have seen, there is no error. So let's press enter on this. So now you can see there that it is giving me a message here option that I can write a message. But first of all, let me just copy this same command and go inside another terminal and I will paste this command. And once I have pasted this command, I will make some changes here that first of all, the, the first thing is not going to be this uh, producer, it is going to be a consumer because the uh, this will give the uh, this will produce an image and uh, produce a message and this will receive that message all right and the next thing is uh, basically this is the consumer side that will take the message and this is the broker list and and i will write bootstrap mm, what you can say bootstrap uh, maybe i have forgotten the command uh, bootstrap server yeah bootstrap server so this is the same command that will basically uh, uh, show that where the uh, server is located and it will give that message from the server all right by using this localhost command and the next thing the topic is going to be the same but there is only uh, there is one thing that I need to write like from beginning so from beginning means that it will give all the messages from the beginning instead of just uh, giving us the new message. So it will give all these messages. So I hope this is uh, fine for you. I have just modified some of the changes like consumer, bootstrap server and the from the beginning. So let me just check whether it contains any uh, other thing to be modified. So as far as I have seen nothing present to be modified. So yeah. So let's press enter on this. now. Uh, uh, it will take me some time so hello world from uh, Kafka and all these previous messages that I have written it here you can see here so now the next message is a message that I'm going to write like uh, uh, hello world from new Kafka like this all right so this is the message that I have written it hello world from new Kafka if I press enter on this if I go back to the previous terminal you will uh, sorry the message should be here, written here hello world uh, from new Kafka so the message should be written here sorry about that so now this message is written so now you can see here that another message has appeared hello world from new Kafka all right so this was the previous message that I have written it mistakenly but this is the message that is shown when I have put the command here all right so now let's write another uh, uh, message like uh, um, uh, this is the application Kafka application uh, application that I created all right so let's press enter on this so all these commands are inserted in the producer side not in the consumer side so this is the thing that you need to keep in mind so this is the Kafka uh, Kafka application that I created so let's pre uh, go to the consumer terminal so you can see here that the message is received here this is the Kafka application that I created so yeah, you, uh, you uh, write the message here and it will be received here. You will write the message here and it will be received here. So this is how the Kafka functionality will perform and it's a streaming messaging platform in which you can a system it's a streaming messages system in which you can send the messages in a short period of time instead of uh, storing them in the database you can store them in itself uh, in, in the kafka also and it will be easy for the, uh, for the deliverability so yeah so let's uh, 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 close this clear this one also and clear this one also so yeah so although I can add these things in the Docker, uh, sorry, I, although I can add those uh, these uh, commands in the GitHub, but I have also added uh, already added them. If I go to the um, uh, repository, you can see here that this is the Docker Kafka that I uh, already added yesterday. So this is the same file. You can see here Docker Compose. Yeah, man. So these are all the commands that you can find it online. So yeah, the, I have already added those commands and the file that is present here. So I don't need to add it again. So yeah, that's it for now. So I hope you liked it and uh, understand it from this video. So if you liked it, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, then ask those questions in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer all of them. So till then, goodbye.